As you're probably well aware of by now, Android devices do come in all shapes and sizes. Now, I typically review smartphones, smartwatches, and tablets on this channel, but in today's video, we're doing something a little bit different, highlighting the all new Artly Astro Short Throw Projector, which, as you probably guessed it, is running on the Android TV platform. We decided to partner with Artly on the sponsored video since we really wanted to see what the experience was truly like with Android on a projector like this, and also to give you guys a closer look at Astro's features. So let's start things off with an unboxing. The device they sent to us is an early prototype. It came to us with a remote and a charger in the box, but the final version will be going out to the public with an included user manual and a warranty card, similar to what Artly includes on its other projectors that it currently sells and has on the market. Before we plug this in, let's go over the design and the basic specs as well. While traditional projectors have their main lens on the front, short throw projectors like this one are designed just a little bit differently, sporting multiple mirrors on the inside with a final mirror positioned on the top near the middle that projects the image out at an angle, allowing it to sit much closer to the screen that you're projecting on. In this instance, the Artly Astro can project an 80 inch image with just nine inches of separation between it and the screen. And it's capable of going all the way up to 110 inches. That's just 10 inches shy of 10 feet, which is pretty impressive. If you don't need the screen to be that big though, you can shrink things down just to 30 inches with the projector sitting right up against the screen. The projector is pretty bright as well, delivering 300 ANSI lumens, a respectable 3000 to one contrast ratio, 120% of the NTSC color gamut, all in support of its 1920 by 1080 p full HD resolution. No, you're not going to be getting 4K projection here, but 1080p is far better than the usual 720p resolution that we see on competing projectors of this size. As far as the ports go, it comes with two HDMI connections, one with arc support, two USB ports, an optical audio output, and a 3.5mm audio jack as well. If you've ever used an Android TV device before, you'll find that the setup process for the Artly Astro is very familiar. Simply walk through the setup screen, enter your Google account information, and you're set to go. In the past, the main role of a projector was pretty similar to that of a computer monitor. The projectors were typically thought of as devices for displaying content from a connected computer or even just a smartphone. But with Android TV built right in, that's definitely not the case with the Artly Astro. Right out of the box, there are a handful of pre-installed applications like Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon Prime, which can all be used to watch videos, movies, and TV shows, and even videos like this one on YouTube. But since we are talking about Android TV, that also means you get access to thousands of additional applications as well through the Google Play Store. You can install applications for watching ESPN, HBO Max, Crackle, Tubi, NBC, and any other streaming service that you can think of. And then of course, let's not forget the USB ports on the side, which allow you to plug in flash drives or hard drives directly into the projector and play your audio or video files, and the HDMI ports, which allow you to plug in any HDMI device as well. If you want to be adventurous, the Astro can even be turned into its own dedicated gaming machine by connecting a Bluetooth controller and then installing games from the Google Play Store. The Bluetooth connection also supports mouse and keyboard peripherals, and if you want to enjoy movies without disturbing anyone else around you, Bluetooth headphones can also be paired to it as well. That being said, the built-in stereo speakers do provide a decent 3D audio experience that's well-balanced even with low distortion at high volumes. Of course, since we are talking about a projector here, we also need to focus a little bit on the image quality. With DLP projection technology, the Astro produces a clear and crisp 1080p image. The colors are vivid, and the overall image quality is perfect for sitting back and enjoying your favorite movies and TV shows. Of course, you'll get the best image quality when the room is completely dark, but it's definitely still usable during the day if you have your blinds open in your room. Just make sure that the sun isn't shining directly on the screen. The projector does support manual 40, 45 degree keystone correction that can help with adjusting the projected image. But just keep in mind that since this is a short throw projector, you do need to make sure that the surface you're projecting onto is completely flat since any curves in the surface can cause some distortion near the top corners of the image. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
and I'll catch you in the next one.